Hello, I'm Bruno Guérin, Live Content Director on Assassin's Creed Origins. For the first time, we're including a photo mode in Origins, so I am here to take you through some of the features included in this mode. You might have tried the photo mode already, but we've added even more functionality in a recent update, so let's dive right in. At any point in the game, you can activate the photo mode by clicking both analog sticks simultaneously. A good trick to make sure you get the timing right is to start with the left stick clicked and then hit the right stick at the perfect moment. When activated, the photo mode completely freezes all of the action on the screen. Now you have complete control over the camera. Using the left analog stick, you can move the camera or dolly as the pros say. Left trigger and right trigger will zoom in and out, which is a good way to move in or out while maintaining the camera position. You can also tilt the frame by pressing the left or right bumper. The directional pad enables you to offset the camera, so you can raise or lower the camera's position as well as move it laterally. Clicking the left analog stick will put you in edit mode, giving you even more control over your photo. You have access to a full range of color and texture filters when you press the left or right bumpers. Use the directional pad to scroll through a variety of options. Let's take a quick look at depth of field. You can move the right stick left and right to widen or tighten your depth of field, which determines how limited your focus range is. Moving the left analog stick will change the subject of your focus. Using a tight depth of field means only objects on the same plane as the subject will be in perfect focus. Other objects will be blurry. Edit mode also lets you change exposure, vignetting, color temperature, tint, saturation, and noise. Play around with each option to learn what they do and how you can use them to take your photos to the next level. When you are satisfied with your composition, filter, and edits, press the A button to snap your photo. Switching over to the world map lets you see a selection of photos taken by the community. They're shown as white photo icons. Moving your cursor over the icon will show you a thumbnail of the photo. You can press the Y button to make the photo full screen and then press Y again to return to thumbnail view. You can also express your appreciation for a photo by pressing the X button to leave a like on it. If you would like to hide a photo, simply press and hold down on the directional pad. Pressing up on the directional pad will show you only your photos while pressing it a second time will hide all photo icons until you press up again. Keep an eye out for blue-green photo icons. These are special photos of the day and feature concept art of the place they mark on the map. Heading to the location to compare it with the concept art is a good way to see how the team's vision matches the final product. Be sure to visit the official Assassin's Creed Origins website to see the full range of photos people have taken on all platforms. On behalf of the entire Assassin's Creed Origins team, we hope you enjoy showing your creativity in this mode and can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>